Hi, I am Taufik, a software developer. Today, I will show you how to turn any web application into single page application within two minutes after using my jQuery plugin. In my demo, I will apply this plugin to a .NET Core project. Let's download a sample project. I already downloaded the project from this link. Let's run the project. Let's add left navigation bar to this application to look beautiful. After adding sidebar, the application looks like this. Now, if I click any link of this application, you can see that the whole browser is refreshing. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, the whole browser is still refreshing. Let's click backward and forward button. Results are the same. Let's turn this application into single page application within two minutes. First of all, add my jQuery plugin and all necessary files. Then go to layout.cshtml file and add this plugin at the end of the body tag. Now write jQuery code to call the function of this plugin. This ID selector must match with the parent ID of the render body. Let's modify viewstar.cshtml file. Here, if Ajax request, then the content will not be cached on browser. If not Ajax request, then the master page will be invoked. I am done. Let's run the project and enjoy the magic show. Now, if I click any link of the application, you can see that only render body section is updating. Look at the browser URL. It is updating correctly as well. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, then only render body section is updating. Let's check backward and forward button. This is the documentation of my plugin. Let's apply first rule. Go to a student's index page. After clicking this create new link, I want to show its content at the bottom of this page. Let's achieve this. Let's write div tag with a specific ID selector. Now write Ajax target attribute inside create new link and put the ID selector here. Let's see the demo. Now if I click create new link, the content will be showed below. Let's submit this form. Row already added to this table. Single page application is responsible for reducing load pressure and load time on both server and client side. Let's prove this. Go to instructor page and click select link. Here, entire render body section is updating. But we want only second table to update. Let's achieve this. Split this action method into three action methods. Let's create underscore index1.cshtml and underscore index2.cshtml file. Let's move second table to the underscore index1.cshtml file. and third table to 
underscore index to dot CSHTML file. Let's specify Ajax target attribute to the select link button. Done. Let's see the demo. Now, if I click select link, only the second table is updating. In this way, we can improve the performance on both server and client side. Let's see the final demo. Go to a student's page. Let's add a student. Row added. Let's update this row. Row updated. Let's delete this row. Row deleted. Now click details link. This table shows all courses of the student. Let's add course to this student. Let's remove course. Go to course page. Let's add multiple courses. and update multiple rows as well. Let's delete courses. Go to instructor page and play with the select link button. Go to department page. Let's add a department. Let's update the record as well. Let's delete it. Let's see everything in one page. Click students and course button. Click instructor button. Now department. Let's add a student, row added. Let's update this row, row updated. Let's delete this row, row deleted. Now click details link. Let's add course to this student. Let's remove course. Go to course page. Let's add multiple courses and update multiple rows as well. Let's delete courses. Play with the select link button. Go to department page. Let's add a department. Let's update the record as well. Let's delete it.